morning, welcome to Repair. Uh, so where are we? Today's the 4th of April. Uh, we're all enjoying this COVID-19 outbreak. Hopefully you're all, uh, you're all safe and sound and uh, enjoying the isolation. Um, even though it's lovely and sunny, I do urge everyone to stay indoors and, uh, and not go out. But yes, uh, so on to another video. So I, unfortunately, am still at work. <laughs> um, so still doing the J job. Uh, we have not been isolated up to this point. Um, but just because of the nature of what I do, um, it means that uh, there are certain things that we have to keep running for uh, for the business. So uh, yeah, I, I won't tell you what I do, but I work for a, a very large holiday firm uh, in, in a lot of woodland. So uh, it won't take you much to guess where. <laughs> uh, but yes, this is a hand scanner. Um, it was dropped and subsequently destroyed. Um, as you can see, this button does not press at all. There's no sound, there's no click, there's no nothing. I've actually taken this apart twice before already um, because there was an issue with the laser. Um, so we've replaced actually the laser on this, which was um, a, an interesting one to do. But today I am going to um, see if I can get this button fixed and sorted, which hopefully is quite an easy process. Um, so this is a, hopefully you can see that, it's a Datalogic Griffin uh, hand scanner. Um, they come apart really, really straightforward. So what we'll do is we'll just crack into it and go from there. So on the bottom here, just here, is our first screw. Uh, it's just a crosshead. Undoes nice and easy. Pop that to one side. And then what this should do is just pull out. Just so, just be careful when you do it, because there is a, a ribbon cable in here, as you can see. Um, there's a little clip that just pulls up and then the cable pops out like that, and that's the whole USB cable assembly disconnected. Right, so next thing's next. We've got a couple of, um, I think there are T10s or T8s. Uh, let's have a look at my screw. So T10s, so let's put our T10 bit in. So these two just undo. They're quite long screws and they are quite tough, so just undo them and they will come. They get easier as you undo them, so. Let's just do number one. Number two. Now once these are undone, this whole top plastic piece will come off. Um, so, you can see I've already pried this open once before because there's slight damage to it, but there's a clip about here there's a clip on the back about here, and there's a clip on this side. Um, there is no gentle, particularly gentle way to do this. Uh, so the easiest thing to do is just get a screwdriver in as carefully as you can without pushing too far in, and it will come up. You could probably do it with um, something like a metal spudger maybe, that might do it as well. I can't even get these out now. Yeah, come on. Let's try something else. See if I can get this in here. Mm, let's see if the back wants to come first. Oh, there you go, that might come. There we go. So that's the first clip. And then second clip, come on. What's it come? Oh, there we go. <laughs> so that's the metal, the plastic piece that sits in the front here. Let me just slot that back in so you can see it. Unfortunately, you have to be quite vicious with it to get it under. There's one clip there, there's one clip here, and then there's a clip at the back, which you can just see hooks in through this side. Um, so that is the whole of that. So what we'll do is we'll just slide this out. And on the top here, this is the whole laser assembly. And the beauty of this is it's really lovely and easy to get undone. You literally just slide the whole lot out. So it's pretty obvious what the problem is here, I can see it already. Um, so there's two little sort of retaining clips that this sits into and at the moment you can sort of see it's not giving any any movement because it's not dropping in. So if we just push this down, there we go, and it works. So now let's get this back together. So again, I have been into this bit further before and I've replaced the laser in here. Um, so he's just under there. So I've managed to get a new board in there and replace it. But I'm not going to show you that today. 
So what we do with this flex cable, slide it back down the back here carefully because we don't want to damage it. And then this is just going to slot down into the housing, just straight down like that. And then our front piece, I'm not sure what this pushed all the way down that is. There's a couple of rubber grommets on the sides here that are a bit tight to get in. So once you've got that, I'll just give this a little bit of a clean on the inside. We don't want to grub on our uh, glass. This slides down in here, like that. And then the top piece, again, will just pop back on, just like this. And you'll hear it click. So that's now on. So next thing we need to do, get our screws in. Again, they are quite tight to get these ones in. Plus you haven't got a great deal of room to maneuver because they're handled slightly in the way. There's one. I'll do number two. This was actually easier than the other one is for some reason. Okay, and now we need to do our handle assembly, which I have got just over here to one side. So, again, we're going to go in this way round, because that's how everything slots together. So grab our cable. It's going to be a tricky one to show you, but so you've got to have your pins on the back here facing away from you. You'll slide it into this top little brown clip and then push the clip down as best you can, just like that. And that's everything lined up, and then we'll just stick this 3M tape back down over it. And then again, this will only line up in one way, so just being careful of the, the brown ribbon. Slide down like that, and then we just gotta put our last screw in. Let's grab my screwdriver, which I really should have had ready in advance. So again, so that's that, and now you can hear it and it's springing back as well, which is exactly as it should do. We weren't getting that before. Let me just quickly plug it into the computer and you can see what it does. So now, when I press the button, hopefully you can see that on the mat and you can just, just make it out. Let me see if I can do it. There you are. Do it on my hand. It will do that when I press the button in. So that's working perfectly now, which it wasn't doing before. So we are. I hope you found that useful. Um, so that's just a very quick guide on how to repair the trigger uh, on a Datalogic Griffin hand scanner. So it's one that I use basically every day, so that's good that I can get that sorted and working again. So yeah, I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please drop us a like, um, leave us a comment. I do try and respond to it, all of them. Um, it might take me a day or two given the, uh, the current situation in the world, um, but I will always try and come back to you. Um, but yeah, um, thanks for watching, stay safe. And as I say, well, hopefully we'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.